Notice, the images of individuals appearing in this video serve solely for illustrative purposes. They may not represent actual doctors or patients. Thank you. Disinhibited Social Engagement Disorder, DSED, falls under the umbrella of attachment disorders. It is primarily observed in children and is characterized by a pattern of overly familiar and inappropriate behavior with relative strangers. Nature of Disinhibited Social Engagement Disorder DSED typically manifests in children who have experienced extreme social neglect, deprivation, and a lack of consistent caregiving during their early years. Unlike other attachment disorders that might lead to avoidance or resistance towards social interaction, children with DSED display a paradoxical pattern of behavior where they might approach and interact with unfamiliar adults in an overly familiar, indiscriminate, and sometimes intrusive manner. This behavior is not just limited to initial interactions, but tends to persist over time, even in the absence of encouragement from those adults. Causes and Risk Factors the primary cause of DSED is believed to be a history of severe neglect and inadequate care during critical periods of a child's development. This neglect often involves a lack of consistent and nurturing attention from caregivers, leading to an impaired development of healthy attachments. Children who have been in multiple foster care placements, institutional care, or other unstable caregiving environments are at a higher risk of developing DSED. The disorder reflects a survival strategy that emerges in response to the unavailability of a primary attachment figure. Symptoms and Diagnosis the core symptom of DSED is a pattern of behavior where the child actively approaches and interacts with unfamiliar adults in ways that are overly familiar and not age appropriate. This might include hugging strangers, sitting on their laps, or leaving a safe environment with an unfamiliar adult without hesitation. In diagnosing DSED, it is crucial to distinguish these behaviors from those that are developmentally typical in younger children or from friendliness. Other factors considered in the diagnosis include the child's history of care and attachment experiences, treatment and management. Treatment for DSED focuses on developing stable, nurturing, and consistent relationships with caregivers. This can be challenging as children with DSED often do not show reticence in forming superficial relationships. However, the goal is to help them develop deeper, more meaningful connections. Interventions may include therapy for both the child and the caregivers, focusing on improving the quality of the attachment relationship. Therapeutic approaches such as attachment-based therapy, play therapy, and family therapy can be effective. These therapies aim to create a safe and supportive environment where the child can learn to form healthy attachments. Parenting education and support are also crucial, as caregivers need to understand the unique needs and behaviors associated with DSED. Prognosis and long-term outlook. The long-term outlook for children with DSED varies depending on several factors, including the age at which intervention begins, the severity of the neglect experienced, and the quality of subsequent caregiving environments. Early intervention and stable nurturing care can significantly improve outcomes. However, without appropriate intervention, children with DSED may continue to exhibit difficulties in forming healthy relationships into adolescence and adulthood. Conclusion, disinhibited social engagement disorder is a testament to the profound impact early life experiences have on child development. It underscores the importance of early, stable, and nurturing relationships in the healthy development of children. Understanding DSED is not only crucial for the effective treatment and support of affected children, but also for raising awareness about the long-term effects of early childhood neglect and the importance of early intervention in attachment disorders. And that's a wrap for today's video. Thank you so much for watching.